the true honor. So let's get it, get it, see what we can uncover. I realize this is sudden, but I'm Margaret. We met at the Velvet Room the other day. There is one important point I forgot to warn you about, so I thought it best to contact you immediately. The bonds created through social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. Though you may be pressed for time, devoting yourself to battles will not quench your heart's yearnings. Do not hasten heedlessly through your days, and remember the importance of moving at a sustainable pace. Please remember that. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Alright, so we took Margaret's advice to heart. You should think carefully about how you spend your days. Um, I mean, to me, I'm just gonna try to hang out with my friends as much as possible, I guess. Yo! Oh, what's up? You got morning practice? You can hear the two talking. You know how guys can join the sports club starting today, right? I thought that maybe if I ran around a little, that would be some good promotion. Dude, if you run around in that, you're gonna... How are people gonna know which club you're in? I didn't think about that. Classic you. I hope your club gets some fresh blood too. It gets everyone excited. Are you guys not going to try and get people to sign up? Uh, I don't know about that. Everyone's saying they want a girl to be our manager, though. Oh, hey. Let's stop by the shrine in the shopping district on our way home today. Might as well pray for some newcomers. We're leaving that up to God now? Well, alright. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that rumor about the thing that li lives at the shrine? There's a thing that lives at the shrine. That's crazy. I did. I wonder if it's true. There's something living at the shrine. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Yukiko to recover. You recall being told that you can join a club. Maybe you can find out how to join the faculty office. Yeah. Sarua just got home. Hey. Oh my god. Love the... Circular camera, LOL, looks fancy. Thank you. <laughs> I did it on a whim too. I was just like, hey, I want to try that. I seen somebody else with it and I was like, I want to do this. So I looked it up on YouTube. It looks pretty cool. I like it. With a little J frequency at the bottom. I think it looks cool. Uh, you may build social links with some of these people through your interactions with them. Uh, time will pass as you build your social links. However, your friendships will influence the results of a fused persona. If you create a persona of the same arcana, uh, that persona is granted the experience bonus after the fusion. Okay. Lots of mumbo jumbo there. Alright. So. A murder? I guess I'll go straight home. I can't think of a safer place to be right now. I, I think I talked to all these people already. Um, I think we're supposed to like figure out. We're supposed to like join a club. How was your day? E, it was a good, chill day. How about you, Sarua? I didn't really do much. I just uh, hung out at home and uh, rested. I woke up late. I stayed in bed late. <laughs> Enjoyed my day off, you know. It was pretty good. Work was hell today? Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Where are we going? The faculty. Stupid Christmas sales. 
<laughs> uh, that's how I feel too, man. Cause I work at the Amazon and brother, like the whole month of December, they gave us like mandatory overtime. So every, uh, I work so much right now. I got lucky this week. They gave me two days off. Uh, where are we going? We're looking for the faculty office. Didn't I, did I just pass it? Am I dumb? Calligraphy room, calligraphy room, student council, student council, library, library, bathroom. Maybe it's downstairs. Stupid Christmas sales. I'm not gonna lie though, I did buy Christmas stuff. Like, I ordered a bunch of stuff online. This is the faculty office. Maybe you can inquire about joining a club. Let's go find out about clubs. What kind of club can we join? <laughs> Look at this dude. You want to join a club? Oh, no. I know what you're really after. You're just trawling for girls, aren't you? Admit it. Listen up, a club is supposed to be. For some reason, you find yourself getting lectured. <laughs> so, still want to join a club? Um, ask about multiple clubs. Two cultural clubs at the same time? Are you trying to get the most out of your school life? We don't allow students to be in two sports clubs or two cultural clubs. One of each is permitted. Got it? So, are we done here? Tell me about the sports club. Trying to break a youthful sweat, are you? You can join either the soccer club or the basketball club. After leaving the faculty office, make a left and go through the exit down to the hall to get to where the sports club meet. By the way, clubs the club days are Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday. Sports clubs don't meet on rainy days. Got it? So are we done here? Tell me about the cultural club. Um, too bad. You can join the cultural clubs after April 25th. This must be a lesson that is not so easy to meet girls now, is it? So are we done here? All right. So he said to go we go to the practice building I'm pretty sure that's a music room the home ec room the science lab meeting room I want to play basketball how do I join the basketball team why is your teacher always talking about girls or a girl I don't trust him. <laughs> no, he's definitely a perv. Art room. I can't wait to make art room as fine as a master's. Workshop, English. English classroom, workshop. Sociology room? Where do I go to join the basketball team? I gotta ask this dude again. The soccer club or the basketball club after leaving the faculty office make a left go through the exit down the hall
This is where I came from. This is not good. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. You wonder if you can create a social link here. I'm joining basketball. We got a new teammate. He's from the city, so I'm sure he's got some moves. He's just waiting to show up. So Saru, are you playing games right now? What game are you playing, bro? If you are playing any, still playing um, Tactica? I'd say this season is in the bag. I'm even thinking about making him captain. Are you a trickster in this game as well? I don't think so. Playing Sonic Frontiers and Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, that's a game that I can play like it's pretty fun. Hi. Just go easy on us, okay? They don't seem very enthusiastic. Well, you guys can take it from here. I've got to go check on the soccer team. Why don't you just watch for today, all right? I'm taking off for now. The team practiced a little and left. Hey. Hey. What do you think of your first day here? Oh yeah, I'm Co. I'm Co. Oh, second year. Same as you. Nice to meet you. Wait. Good to see someone else take an interest in the team. Ah, oh, I'm beat. Co, aren't you done yet? No. Oh. Is this the new guy? <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? He's the transfer student. Hmm, that's cool. Time to beat up Co. No, Co's a cool guy. <laughs> Close on the basketball team, bro. He's a he's a bud. <laughs> I'm pretty sure both these guys become like best buds. Daisuke Nagase. Nice to meet you. Daisuke Nagase. Nice to meet you. Soccer team. Second year. Ko and I go way back. Oh, he's on the soccer team. So Ko's our homie because he's on the basketball team. Daisuke plays soccer. Maybe not the homie. We'll find out. Maybe we're all homies and we just play different sports. Who knows? Yeah, too far back. I'm getting sick of seeing your face. <laughs> All right. Good friendly banter. Did any <laughs> did everyone take off early like usual? Yep. I suggest we work on rebounding, but they were all like, that's too tiring. So all we did was take a few shots. But I shouldn't scare Justin with this B wording on his first day. We've got a lot of members who don't show up to practice, but basketball's fun. You've played before, right? Um, uh, <laughs> nope, never. Beating up Daisuke, got it. Hey, if I get a chance, why not? Just because I don't like his tracksuit. No problem, I'll work you to the bone. You become friends with Ko, Ichijo of the basketball team, and Daisuke Nagasi. Nagase of the soccer team. See, yeah, they're both our friends. You feel a faint bond forming between the three of you. No soccer players here. <laughs> Straight up. The shorts are too short, you know? So we're getting a bond from both of them? You have established the fellow athlete's social link of the Strength Arcana. All right. Sounds good. Oh yeah, do you know the practice schedule? We meet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. It's a simple sport, but if you do it right, I'm sure you'll toughen up. There's no practice on rainy days either because the other clubs take over the gym. Sometimes it sucks being such a small team. And of course, we don't practice the week before exams. Are you stuck polishing the balls again? That's an innuendo if I ever heard one. He's like, hey, <laughs> you trying to polish some balls, bro? Co, yes, I will polish your balls. 
While they go to their parties, I get to stay here and play with balls. <laughs> yes. I love them balls. <laughs> Alright. Man, I want to go party. <laughs> I'll help you. Let's get this done and get out of here. Be an ass and leave? No, no, no. I'll help out. Huh? I polish balls myself. You do that? You're a real pal. Man, I think I'm tearing up. Ko is exuberant. You decided to go home after helping. The balls. Welcome home. Hey, Nanako. It seems Dojo is no home. Uh, sneak out of town at night? Yeah, however, you will be too tired to go out if you're explored inside the TV that day. High school students have club activities. The teacher told us about them today. There's a half-eaten cup of instant ramen. Imagine putting instant ramen back in the fridge. <laughs> I've never. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's sneak out. Let's see what's going on around the town. I wonder if we'll see anybody. On to the next bar. Please, boss, no more. Let's go home. Shut up. That's an order. I just got promoted and you're going to celebrate with me at one more bar. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Today's special is Mabu Tofu Combo. Yeah, let's do it. Get some Chinese food. Man, that sounds so good right now. I want some Chinese food. Your forehead begins to sweat from the furiously powerful spices. You can no longer feel your tongue. Been there. Despite your fear, you continue to eat with shaking hands until the entire dish has been consumed. My courage increased greatly. Wow. She's out delivering food right now. She's my pride and joy, not to mention a big draw for customers. After finish your meal, you went home. That's pretty cool. Is that lady walking her cat? Morning. Hey, GA. Did you see that just now? What a cute cat. Yuki Go and me gave it some food a while back, but it just won't take me. Oh well, I'm more of a dog person anyway. Oh yeah. I got a text from Yuki Go. She says she's slowly getting better. Doesn't seem like there's any weird lasting effects, so that's good. Mm, I'm relieved to hear that. All we have to do is wait until she gets better. Let's hold off on the other stuff until then. Sounds good. I finally got my jar kettle. Jar of what? Kettle of what? What's up? Is this like... I don't remember what this is. What's the jar? I remember you were, gonna, you were talking about getting like a coffee maker. I don't remember a jar. The kettle I wanted to do. Pour over coffee. Oh, so it is for coffee. All right. My bad. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Espresso maker is next. You're what? <laughs> Bro, coffee's not. I don't like coffee like that. I like some coffee though. Yesterday, I, um, while I was streaming, I drank a little mochaccino. It's pretty freaking good. But espresso. Sheesh, that's some. 
That's some real coffee right there. I'm not on that level yet. I'll get there one day. So, uh, hey, what's up? You doing anything? If you got time after school, let's go get something to eat. Maybe you should hang out with Yosuke. Yes, I think we should. Lunchtime afternoon. All right, all right, settle down. Now class is now in session. My name is Mr. Hosi, Hosoi, Hosoi. And in this class, you'll be learning about contemporary writing. Let's all have fun. I know this is off topic, but what's the point of applying for colleges outside of Inaba? Why even bother? Nothing good ever comes out of competing with city folk. The countryside is all you need. <laughs> well, since this is your very first lesson, why don't you show me how much you already know? Now then, how many parts are there in Murakami's The Wind The Wind Up Bird Chronicles? Wind Up Bird Chron Chronicles. Chronicles. I can't speak. Hana Chen, I'm calling on you. I get the feeling you're not much of a reader. I read, I mean, not books, but come on, help me out here, man. So, uh, I actually have the reading. How many parts are there in this wind up bird chronicle? There's actually, there's three. You gave him the answer you think is correct. Very good. Either you're more literary than you look, or that was a lucky guess. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle was released as three separate stories. It's the eighth of his 12 published books. His latest book, 1Q84, was published in 2009. Its first printing sold out on the very first day of sale. And of course, that's not counting all his short stories and essays, which I don't have time to get into right now. Wow, you're a lifesaver. Yosuke appreciates you. Nice. We're, we're friends now. My expression has increased. Let's go. All right. We're going to hang out with our brother. Yo! Want to go somewhere? Since you have Orobus, a persona of the Magician Arcana, you feel you could be closer. Yes, let's spend time with him. The famous steak cookies? Mm. Are tough. <laughs> Sticking chunks of steak in crochets, man. This really is the country, eh? Huh? Well, it is good though. It's tough. Chie called this stuff tender and juicy. What kind of teeth does she have? <laughs> you can hear a woman's conversation. He's from Juness. Yosogami High School, right? His classmate Sato-san went out of business. This shopping district could disappear, and yet... <laughs> Sorry about that. You know me. I'm famous, infamous around here. Yeah, it must be tough. Nah, it's not really. It's mainly my parents. I'm not personally involved anyways. There's nothing I can do about it. Yosuke shrugs. I don't think there's anyone in Inaba who doesn't know me, at school or around town. Not that I mind, but it sucks that I always gotta mind my manners. Yosuke smiles cheerfully. You feel you understand Yosuke a bit more. Nice. 
My boy leveled up. Still, this croquet is damn good, huh? I'm gonna have another. You want one too, right? Okay, let's head home. Your stomach started to bulge, then went home. Welcome home. Nanako, I'm home. I went to the bookstore, but it was full of all these crazy books. I didn't even have a manga I like to read. That sucks, bud. Should we sneak back out again? Let's go see what's going on in the rest of town. Are these drink? Are these dudes drinking again? Yeah, it is. Same thing. Make sure I have some of these just in case. Hey, Chie's out here. Huh? What are you doing out? I went to Aya because I got a little hungry. Oh yeah, if you have time, want to talk for a bit? Yeah, let's hang out with Chica. Yeah. Come on! I bet you don't know much about this place, seeing as how you just transferred and all. Well, there's not much to know. The only thing I can think of is um, how much nature we have here. But the people are really nice. Like, if you lose your wallet, it'll definitely come back to you. And if you're ever in a fix, you can always count on me. Um, what should I do at night? Where do you like to eat? <laughs> I re recommend Aya and Suzui. So wait, Sozai Daigaku? Aya's steak bowls are delicious and the other place steak skewers are great too. Honestly, I'd recommend steak no matter where in Japan I was. Chie is talking passionately about steak. Most restaurants here close real early, but Aya stays open late. I keep getting lured in by the delicious smells from inside. You feel your relationship with Chia has grown stronger. Huh? How long have we been talking? I got so caught up in the conversation. Oh yeah, I want you to have this. Me to you. Compo chocolate? Nice. That's my number one recommendation lately. You should try it. I'm gonna get going. Good night. Hey. You know we've got practice today, right? You better be there, man. See you later. Maybe you should show up at basketball practice after school. Classes have ended for today. Is there like a map? I don't know if anybody else wants to hang out. I know we want to play basketball. What's this? This is a side quest? You're a second year, right? Why did I assume that? Because I know the ways of the world, son. <laughs> I don't know you. And you're coming up. So it's 50-50 that you're a second year. Deductive reasoning like, whoa, son. 
Now I, the OG third year, will challenge you, the second year young blood, with a riddle. And no, it isn't because I'm trying to avoid studying for entrance exams. I'm just doing you a favor here, man. This guy's crazy. If you answer correctly, I will represent or I will present you with a key. Right, let's try it. Who's the riddle master? People with requests will have an icon over their heads. Its color will change once you accept their request. All right. Looks like your spirit is willing. Let's see if you mind can if your mind can vibe to this riddle time. I'm gonna drop some stuff into two distinct categories. At the end, you gotta drop the last item onto the proper category. Can you dig it? Red groups A, gray groups B. White's putting it down for the group A. Orange has a group B tattoo. Green A for Sheezy. Pink is group B times infinity. All right, so which group does black belong to? Bro, it's, it's <laughs> what do you guys think? A or B? I have no clue. Can I hear it again? <laughs> like, oh man, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go group A. I don't know the answer, but let's go. Oh yeah, so tell me what all those items have in common. Give it to me. Flag colors. <laughs> Your mind is a beautiful thing and you are not letting it go to waste. Yo, way to be. Did I really get it right both times? Since you're down with Vexiology, you knew that group A was four of the six most prevalent world colors. I had no idea. Oh damn, you got it right. <laughs> I know, right? The other two to round out the top six and blue and yellow. I must say that I wasn't expecting a second year to have such trenchant insight. Me neither, honestly. I don't even know what the word trenchant means. But you have passed and i now dub you my riddle brother here's a little something something bro his afro is so nice and he gave me three chest keys what's up that's hilarious all right cool all right i don't see anybody here there's nobody up here on top Oh, there is a girl. You're from your our class, wasn't it? Yeah, you came from the city, right? How nice. You know, I want to go to a university in one of the bigger cities. My parents are against it, though. But I have a dream, and my friends are going to be with me, too. I'm going to go to college, no matter what. Well, that's good to know. I believe in you, too. I guess we go play basketball since I don't see anybody else. Yo. Let's go to practice. We talk about practice. Yasogami High Gym. You attend basketball practice. Your diligence has increased. Man, I'm hungry. Hey, Justin, Aya or Juness, you decide. The Chinese food, bro, is way better than the freaking food court. <laughs> you really know what's up. Their ergo row is awesome. I don't know if that's how you say it. Ho hui? There is a gleam in Ko's eyes. Hey, Co, hurry up. Hey. The soccer team's done already. You guys are fast, man. Don't you have cleaning up to do? <laughs> yeah, but I don't have to do that stuff. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this girl in my class was looking for you. She made something for you in home ec. She said, Co Chan loves sweets, or something like that. Hmm. Well, Co is getting all the attention. Well,. I do like me some sweets. <laughs> Sounds like a pain. No, bro. What? I'm jealous. I want some sweets, too. No, no. We're just friends. Ko is laughing. 
I don't mind the sweets and all that, but I wish she'd stop calling me Ko-chan. I swear, the more girls I tell not to call me that, the more they seem to enjoy doing it. I hate my name, Ko. It's such a crappy name. Imagine hating your own name? That's crazy. Well, what are you going to do? I guess I'll go pick them up. Yeah. You like sweets? Wanna... Want me to get you some too? Hell yeah. <laughs> if I mention you, I bet you'd give me tons. Alright, leave it to me. I'll get us some... So much candy will be too fat to practice. Ko is pumped. Your relationship with Ko seems to have grown stronger. Don't leave without me, alright? If you're not here when I get back, I'm gonna cry. Funny thing is, he's probably serious. Alright, let's go home. You waited for Ko and stopped by a few places together before going home. Welcome home! Welcome back! The rain stopped. save the game wow. Nanako is absorbed in the quiz so we will leave her alone let's check the fridge nothing let's sneak out I want to go to the shrine I don't I think I'm brave enough to go in the shrine, but yeah, I can't go in the shrine yet. All right, I should have known better. Look at some of this dog. The dog is digging at the ground with a single-minded determination that it's that is admirable. I wish I could dig it too. Looks like there's nothing to do. What the heck? Is there anybody out here? Nobody this time. What can we do? Should we eat dinner again at the Chinese restaurant? Ugh, I don't know what to do. Which? We can go to the velvet door. Welcome to the velvet room. I shall tell you about how I can offer you my assistance. Ooh, let me get a... Oh. I can gather a number of the personas you possess and provide you with the ability to fuse them. I have suggestions for the creation of powerful personas that may be of use to you. If you want to summon a new persona that you have not registered, please try the summon persona option. However, if you register a persona in the compendium, you will be able to summon that persona by selecting check compendium. If you wish to know more about the compendium, please ask Margaret. Hmm. Um, check on dwellers. Is this how we talk to the people? Oh, yeah, here we go. Listen to Mary's request. See, this is the girl I like. Who's the girl you like from the velvet room? The one on the left. Mary. Look at her. It's the hat and the little collar with a lock. Telling you wouldn't help anyways. Mary doesn't seem interested in you. It seems your relationship needs some spark in order to deepen. Alright. Listen to Margaret's request. K. 
can't say I don't like her. <laughs> exactly. A request. Ah, oh, that's right. There is something that I would like to ask of you. It doesn't seem that I would be able to go or to get the answer I desire out of you as you are now. If your knowledge was at the expert level. Okay. What's the SL completion? She, she looks better than Anne. Hey, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The other people like Yukiko, man, I'm telling you. Not me, though. Um, I don't think any of this stuff is... I don't want to do none of this. I don't know what we're going to do. I guess we'll go to the Chinese food restaurant and just get a little something, something. After waiting for a while, you ate the pork rib noodles. It's quite delicious. However, you waited for so long that the appetite went away. You feel tired. <laughs> Your diligence has greatly increased. Leave me alone. What's up? Morning. What was that about? Is that kid already at the rebellious age? Well, these murders have must have parents around here pretty worried. Oh, about the culprit. I was thinking about it some and I don't understand him at all. It seems like a lot of effort to dump someone into a TV. How is he doing it? The more I think about it, the more confused I get. I don't know either. It seriously makes no sense to me. I think Yukigo and Chie just look like they are 15 years old. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> they do look like kids, huh? I guess all we can do now is wait for Yukigo to get better. to hang out again we gotta find Chie bro I haven't seen her I want to hang out with her after school one time but I never see her Maybe she hangs out like outside of the school. We could check the library, I think. Spend time in the library? No. I think she's in the practice building somewhere? good
we'll come back to the school if I don't see nobody. Oh, wait a second. Is the bookstore like, can I buy books? Oh yeah. Hell yeah, now we can read. I don't know how many we have. Oh, I have nine. Damn. All right. Well, uh, make it an even 20. She's nowhere to be found. Catchy bugs make me thirsty. I want an orange smash. All right, have an orange smash. Give it to him. He gave me another ladybug. Nice. They're playing princesses again. They told me that like something lives here, or somebody was talking about it, right? Somebody or something lives at the shrine. that um bulletin board where's that thing at job openings known to open Vegetables still, huh? Gather everyone at the food court? No, no, no. Got ran over. I don't want to go home, although the police officer already got mad at me. And then this old man wants a fishing hook or something. All right, I guess there's just nothing else to do except for hang out with our bro. Okina City in front of Okina Station. Yosuke brought you all the way here. It's been a while since I breathed this kind of air. You know, I'm just a poor little city boy drawn to that urban scent. Wait a minute. Am I starting to sound like Teddy? He's sounding like you too. <laughs> You're looking hairier. <laughs> 
Now that you mention it, the foam in my facial soap this morning had. <laughs> hey, you're making me scare myself. Well, that aside, what should we... A text message. More spam. Looks like someone got my address. I get a lot of spam. You don't block them? Hmm. Even when I do, they change domains. So there's no point. And I don't want to change my address. Yosuke is signing, sighing. I haven't changed addresses since before we moved to Inaba. I mean, I might get a text from someone. It's hard to call, you know? If I called people just to tell them my number changed, they'd get annoyed. And some of them never planned to text me anyways. Oh, but hey. Don't look at me like I don't have any friends. Though, to tell you the truth, I don't remember what we all used to talk about. Can't really call them friends. Inaba sweet suits me just fine. Plus, I got something I need to do here. <laughs> I'm counting on you, partner. You can sense Yosuke's enthusiasm. I'm loving hating this Sonic DLC, lol. It's way too complicated. The Sonic DLC for some Sonic Adventures? What makes it complicated, bro? What is it doing? You feel you understand Yosuke a bit more. Level three. Frontiers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. The Yusuke Hanamura social link has reached level three. With that in mind, should we head back? It'd suck if something happened back there while we were over here. Let's head home. Let's get everyone a souvenir and then go home. So they give you the challenges right, and it's all time trials. Oof. Well, I guess it makes sense though, right? For, for Sonic, I expect everything to be about speed. It's like a racing game. Except the last one, they gave you 400 rings and you have to beat three bosses with it. <laughs> I just change it all up right at the end. You return to Inaba with Yusuke in a hurry. Yosuke. So she's still watching the quiz show. No food. Okay, so and being supersonic drain one ring per second lol it's just way too complicated <laughs> so you have to fight but you lose a ring every time that does sound pretty rough <sighs> let's go make sure nobody's outside waiting to hang out and then if not we'll read Looks like we're good. We can go back home. start with a lovely man why not every chapter begins all men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves 
the spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people of all cultures and genders feel its call. You feel more like a real man than ever before. There's still some pa pages of the lovely man left. You decide to save them and read them next time. Bro, I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a real man. You overhear students talking. Hey, did you hear? There are some part-time job listings in the town bullets board now. I wish there was one that would let me make some quick cash. Oh, I forgot. Your parry for this challenge has to be perfect. If not, they hit you and you like 10 rings every time you get hit. Yeah. That sucks. So you're losing them by time and you're losing 10 at a time every time you get hit. And it's different than the time trials. I don't think you have the diligence to handle a job that takes a lot of time. That's so mean. Maybe I don't, but I bet I'll do be more diligent if I get a job. I bet you wouldn't do too well with a job where you have to work with others because you lack understanding. I don't need to work since I'm focusing on my studies. If my grades are good, I might be able to swing a raise in my allowance. That's cheating. I wish I was born into a rich family so I didn't need a part-time job. Or if I knew someone nice enough to buy me anything I wanted. I don't think that would be so great. There's someone like that at our school too. Ooh. Hmm. Is that the rich rich girl you think with the long hair? Maybe she's some rich girl. Well then, I'll begin my lecture on the Age of Discovery, which occurred between the 15th and 17th century. Many types of vegetation were introduced to Europe during this era. Among them, tulips from Turkey deserve special attention. Gardening for pleasure was becoming popular, causing the price of tulip bulbs to rise. It was the world's first economic bubble incident, Tulip Mania, along with the South Sea Bubble and the Mississippi Company. It is said to be one of the biggest bubbles in European history. Hey, Mr. Hanamara, wake up. What was the first economic bubble incident in the world? Uh, what? Help. What's this economic bubble? Was it Tulip Mania? She just said it? Yeah, Tulip Mania. So you were actually listening. Tulip bulbs imported into Holland became extremely popular and prices jumped dramatically as a result. At its highest, a single bulb was worth the price of a luxury house. However, one of the bubble burst prices fell once again and the trade cities in Holland were thrown into confusion. Mr. Hanamura, do you take care to not let that snot bubble of yours burst or you may also be thrown into confusion? I'm not making snot bubbles. Anyways, I was right, wasn't I? Well, yeah, thanks, Justin. I'll have to stay awake for the next one. Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Yukiko to recover. You recall hearing about the bulletin board with part-time jobs offering on it. All right, let's go. You'll be able to increase your knowledge, diligence, understanding, expression, or courage by taking a job. When these various qualities reach certain points, you may unlock quests, meet new people, or earn a raise. Hmm. What do we want to do? We want to be an origami crane folder? A translator, envelope constructor, assistant daycare taker. I, I feel like that's a good one. 
Monday, Friday, Saturday. Let's do the envelope. Oh, you can just do it at home. So we can only do the envelope one right now. It's kind of crazy. He wants a second maid. Let's go get him one. Another ladybug for me. Basketball practice again? <laughs> Your diligence has increased. All right. The balls have been polished. Mount Chicka Bow Wow. Floor has been mopped. Let's grab some grub. I'm down for some Aya. How do you always pop up when we start talking about food? All right, let's get changed and then head over to Aya. Whoa. Oh, damn, I forgot. I can't. What? What are you arguing with yourself about? Sorry. Sorry, I just remembered some personal stuff I've got to take care of. You two go ahead. Sorry, guys. Today is the day he goes before the almighty house of Ichijo. Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. In fact, I could use your help. Daisuke looks serious. You head to Aya to listen to what Daisuke has to say. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner. About Ko. He slowly begins to open up. I don't really like talking behind his back like this, but... I want you to help him out. Uh, what do you mean? It's about Ko's family. He lives by himself, but his parents' place is like right next door. Once a week or so, he drops by three like he did today. He drops by there. <laughs> my, my dyslexia is showing. His family is, what's the word I'm looking for? Distinguished? Very traditional, very strict. You'd never know just by looking at him, though. The head of the Ichijo family is Ko's grandma. They follow her orders like she's the law. Problem is, the old crone doesn't approve of him playing basketball. She calls it barbaric. Well, that sucks. 
Yeah. Yeah. Daisuke nods and sighs. He's been forced to quit a lot of things since he was a kid, but not basketball. He can't give this up. So I want you to help him out. Well, leave it to me. All right, I'm glad I came to you. Daisuke looks relieved. How do I help? I'm glad I can rely on you. You sense Daisuke's trust in you. After worrying about Ko with them, you feel your relationship with the pair has grown deeper. The fellow eighth athlete's social link has reached a three. Nice. This one's on me, so eat up. I used up my allowance. Hey, how about some Zao Zyka? Those are good. I don't even know what that means. You talk dice kid for a while after about school. You decided to go home after saying goodbye. Welcome. Welcome back. Today at school, everyone was talking about jobs. I want to work. Girl, you are a child. You need to chill. Play some video games or something. Nothing catches your eye. All right. Uh, let's go see if anybody's out in town. Uh, if nobody's out here, we will... I want to try making the envelopes? Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's out here. Wait, study. How do I, uh, how do I make the envelopes? Oh, here we go. You decide to work on making envelopes. <laughs> this is a great job. Quietly continue the dull task. <laughs> Your diligence has increased. You're getting distracted. Try to concentrate. The distractions have overcome your work ethic. You were unable to achieve your goal. Oh no. You earned 600 yen for making envelopes. Let's go. Today you have a day off. All you can do is wait for Yukiko's recovery. What should you do today? Yeah, hello, it's Ko. If you're bored, let's hang out. I'll call Daisuke up too. How's that sound? Check my social link. What is going on? Um, yeah, I guess I'll hang out with him. He came here with Ko and Daisuke. I haven't breathed air this bad in a long time. You know what you mean? Or I know what you mean. I can't relax here. How about you? Do you prefer urban places like this to more rural towns like Inaba? I like Inaba. <laughs> Is that town you came from as backwater as Inaba then? I bet you had way more to do than go to Juness though. I like Juness. It's super convenient and they've got like everything. That Yosuke dude is hilarious too. <laughs> what does Yosuke have to do with anything? 
Although, now that I think about it, aren't you friends with him? The four of us should hang out sometime. Hell yeah, we should. You feel your relationship with Ko and Daisuke is going to become closer soon. Welcome home! Check the fridge. Talk to her. We'll go check the town, even though I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure there's nobody here, but let's go. If nobody's here, then we'll go, um, we'll go home and read, I think, or we could do envelopes again. I think we'll read. Oh, Chie is here. Nice. You're taking a walk in this late at night? Chie seems bored. Should you spend the evening with Chie? Yeah. You enjoyed your idle chat with Chie. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown stronger. All right. What? When it gets so late, we totally lost track of, track of the time. Oh yeah, do you want this? I just remembered. It was in my pocket. From me to you. A yummy gummy. Let's go. Sorry, it's nothing special. We should get going. A yummy Yay. gummy is definitely special. The cultural clubs are accepting new applicants starting today. You're welcome to join even if you're already in a sports club. Which cultural club should I join? You're going to join a sports and cultural club? Aren't you going to end up half-assing both of them? Ouch. You don't have to be so harsh. I mean, I put some thought into this. Studying and grades are important, but I thought I should join a club to improve my personal skills. Then do you want to join our club? If you're serious about it, we'd welcome you. Gotta get ready. <laughs> My bag. <laughs> Just random people running by. Good morning. Today I'll have you run so much you'll have sore muscles. Don't look so sad. Everything requires muscles after all. Why am I going to make you run until you're sore? Because that's how your muscles grow efficiency. Oh damn, soccer. Answer this one. What's it called when you gain more muscle after getting sore through exercise? Uh, what is it called? Overgrowth? Overcompensation. You must be working out. That's right. It's called overcompensation. Damn, I don't know this one. I didn't know either. I'm glad I have the answers here on the side. <laughs> if you rest for a couple of days after getting muscle soreness, you'll have more muscles than you started with. If you use this to your advantage, you can gain muscle efficiently. Now, enough jibber jabber. I'll have you run until you're sore. I love jibber jabber. Forget about your other classes. Just run. Work hard. You can do it. Ha ha ha. You answered correctly. Your knowledge has increased. Classes have ended. Yeah, we gotta find out about this cultural club. Yo, this dude wants something. It's spring, isn't it? My first thought was, this is horrible. I'm stuck with King Moron as my homeroom teacher. Can I ask you to do something for me? I want you to do this. Do you know that girl from our class who always goes up on the roof? I want you to go see what she's up to. No, that's not what I meant. I, uh, I just wonder what she does up there. That's all. I'm just asking about. Okay. I owe you one. The girl on the rooftop.
tell me about the cultural clubs. You better not be interested in them just so you can meet girls. You can join either the drama club or the band. Both clubs meet on the ground floor of the practice building. Go find them yourself. Before you go, the cultural clubs meet on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. It was the basketball is on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturday. So it kind of sucks. That means they are on the same days. This weirdo with the ladies. So <laughs> I know, bro. He's like obsessed. <laughs> he thinks all the kids around him are just a bunch of little horny kids. So I think the music room I think I'd rather be in the The club that's like a drama the drama club So I don't want to go in the music room club drama is acting right yeah yeah it should be like uh, plays or whatever looks like this meeting room is used for the drama club ah here we go here we go yeah join the club yo so gami high drama club Let's move on to tongue twisters. Ready? The sixth ch chick cheeks six sheep. Oh my gosh, I can't even say this. The sixth chick cheeks sixth sheep cheap. Oh my god. I'm not gonna try that again. You're still not saying it correctly. Are you sure you're the club president? Oh, a new guy. You're Justin from second year, right? The transfer student. Welcome to the drama club. I am the cl club president, Nagi. And this is... I'm Yumi Ozawa. Yumi Ozawa. I am the second year, same as you. It's nice to meet you. Yumi, are you trying to get your hooks into the new guy already? Huh? Not in the slightest. Anyways, let's continue practicing. We don't have a stage and we haven't decided on a script yet, so we're just training. I'm sure you'll catch on. Our club meets on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. We're not gonna throw you out if you don't show up, but the more you train, the better you get. I think being in the drama club helps you learn how to express yourself more eloquently. Oh yeah, I'm the club's vice president. I'm not really much help though. That's okay. My tan. I know you put a lot of effort into this. Besides, you're so cute. Don't call me my tan in front of everyone. Aw, they have little hearts above each other's heads. Forget about them. Let's practice, okay? We'll start with voice lessons. Focus on your stomach. Push the air out. Now say... Oh, oh, <laughs> that was good. You've gotten a lot better than when we started. Yumi seems proud of you. Huh? School's over already. What the? Everybody's already gone. I didn't even notice. I'll see you next time. Come to practice, okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm glad to see you can take orders. Yumi smiles cheerfully. Well, fate must have brought us here. Let's do the best with what we have. You joined the drama club and became acquaintances with Yumi Ozawa. Yumi is enthusiastically devoting her time to acting. You feel a faint bond forming between yourself and Yumi. 
Yo, let's go. The Sun Arcana. You got this, you're meeting all the ladies. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, have you gone to see a play or a musical being performed live? I have a DVD you can borrow. It'll definitely help your technique. The other members in the drama club don't watch this kind of stuff or even talk about it. They're not so nerdy, huh? Alright. I think it's it's too late for me. Oh, I went shopping to the fridge is full of food. Nice. Alright. Yeah, it's 10 p.m. Or it's about to be 10. And it's my bedtime. I gotta go work tomorrow. So let's save. better better sorry thank you guys for watching is what i was saying sarua you're awesome thanks for catching me be bad <laughs> there you go uh but yeah i gotta go to bed i gotta work in the morning uh but yeah th thanks again for hanging out with me and anybody else who came through. Hope you have a great time. Thanks for the stream. Good luck at work tomorrow. Thank you. You too, Saru. I don't know if you work tomorrow, but good luck and enjoy your coffee. Your hot poured coffee. <laughs> Alrighty. Peace out. Hopefully we won't get destroyed tomorrow. I definitely will, but hopefully you don't. Ha <laughs> ha.